Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, cats and squirrels, um, I am going to be doing a unboxing today of the Convergence of Cyrus 2017 Army Box. Uh, I got this for my birthday, and, uh, and I'm very grateful. Um, it's such a wonderful gift. I was always into Convergence since I learned about War Machine. I'm not a huge War Machine fan, but I really love the way that Convergence works as an army, where there, you know, it's clockwork. Everything works together. Um, you have to think 12 moves in advance, which I'm bad at, but I'm getting better. Uh, and I'm I'm really excited to open up this box, see what's inside of it. I've had it since uh, July, the beginning of July. Um, so, without further ado, let's crack it open. All right, here is the big beautiful box. And rule number one for filming, make sure you have all your tools. So let's cut this sucker open. Ooh, ah. Uh, all right, we got a lot of paper insulation. We can literally throw that to the side. And we'll pull up the first thing we've got here. And it looks like this is the Iron Mother with the corollary, uh, oh, and that's taped, so let's, let's cut that sucker open. There we go. So we've got the Iron Mother, the corollary. Is that right? Yep, that's her little, her little cowl there. Um, and then we've got uh, these guys here. Transfinite Enumerate Projectors, is that it? I can't remember their names. I got, uh, the little cards in here, which we're not actually, those are Optifex directives, that's right. <clears throat> that's right. So, let me zoom in a little, a little easier for everyone to see here. So, in clear plastic number one, as I said, we've got the Iron Mother, our f super necessary flying stands, bunch of bases, our Optifex directives. Three of them, and the hands for each. Put those guys right back in there, because knowing me, I'll lose them. Uh, we've got all the pieces of the Iron Mother here, her little uh, dress and cowl, cloak of blades. I think that's what it's called. Hey, let me find her little beautiful card. Yep, cloak of blades. <clears throat> I think that's the back part of her. And another little robe there. Skinny legs. She got thigh gap. <laughs> Sorry, internet. That I just made that terrible joke. Right, let's put those down. And then in there we have her servitors and her head and an arm. And I'll spin that head around so you can see her beautiful mechanic-y face. So we've got those in there. Uh, the corollary, if you haven't seen it yet, obviously it comes with a flying base. It's a really simple piece. And there's another hand for the Optifex directive. Um, but anyways, what it is, is this giant chunk of plastic. And then on the bottom there, if you'll see, there's three holes, and that's the corollary, corollaries, like little little power inductors, little power nodes. So it goes up in them holes. So that's the first part there. Uh, one of the biggest reasons I wanted to open this box up was I wanted to see if it was the the jacks were like just the regular. Jackbox, which apparently they are. Here's the cipher, the inverter, and the monitor. Uh, let me get a better look, see at what's going on inside this box. So that box that I just pulled out was sitting right here. Somehow, intelligently, unlike me. Anyways, it was sitting in here, and then these two were sitting right on top of it. These two here. So anyways, 
One of the biggest reasons, reasons I wanted to know what was in the box is because I magnetize models. So I wanted to make sure that all of the parts were in each box, which it looks like they are. Yep, there's the, um, let me zoom in again a little. Boop, 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 okay. So uh, we have our, what are those, spring, spring fists? Yep, spring spike, spring spike fists, right there, a little piece there. Um, I'll go ahead and open this up as well. <clears throat> we got all our little, all our little bits and pieces. Very important base. We've got uh, the main body and back, um, the front of the body here. Obviously these pieces just clip together. And then we've got uh, almost the head part. Um, it's almost like a cowl. And then these pieces uh, fit on the side of the cowl once it's on there. Boop. And then on the bottom of these here is where you put all of the different parts, like the spring spring spike fist. The little spike goes in here, like so. And then obviously it goes up in this guy. Oh, there's another piece. It's one of these pieces here. So it'll fit underneath. There's a little nub. And then this part goes up inside here. So what I like to do, let me go grab my um, one that I have put together. So the one that I have put together here, you'll notice that I have this part glued on right here. Okay, so this the whole thing is glued. This here and this here is glued on. And there's a little magnet down at the bottom here. So what I like to do with this, the reason I keep the other side arm is because with the inverter, I think it's the inverter. No, nope, it's the monitor. The monitor is the one with the spring spike fist and the ellipsol flinger. The ellipsol flinger has its own assembly. It's not one of these. Like the other two, this assembly here, it gets used for both. But this guy, the ellipsol flinger is a little different, the way his assembly goes. And I'll show the other part here. If I can pick up the little magnetized pieces faces glued to it and all that sort of stuff. There it is. So the other piece here, I've just got a magnet there and a magnet there. They fit together. And then each of these uh, punchy fists will just, this one here obviously has the, this part glued in, or this part magnetized on the top. It's magnetized on the bottom here. And then one of these guys will fit up in here and the other one will fit there, <clears throat> okay? And the reason that we have that magnetized the way it is is for the, I think it's the inverter, which uses, <clears throat> I'll pull this and pull this off, make sure that stays on. The inverter, which uses this, uh, whoop, this guy and this guy. So that's why we keep this one off, but we still have it magnetized in here. So we can fit all these different modules on there. <clears throat> so I'm glad that the, at least this heavy vector box has all of the pieces for all three variants of heavy vectors. So we've got the body and the rest of the body assembly. This is the bottom part where the, oh, let me get that in camera. This is the bottom part where the legs will go. You can see the, uh, the different holes for the legs in there. Um, and then the different side arm parts. And the mortar face. I actually have the faces magnetized on the one that I have assembled already. And I'm gonna go ahead and drop it and break it. No, I'm kidding. So I have the faces magnetized as well. Because I'm a freak when it comes to magnets and I love to magnetize every individual part. All right, so that's the Cypher inverter and monitor. Um, all the other pieces are in this little baggie here, and these are the 
other weapon options by the looks of it. Alright. So there's one box there. Uh, the next box, and we actually get two of these, is the assimilar, Assimilator, Conservator, and the Modulator. Ba -ba -da -ba. Like I said, we get two of these heavy vectors in this box. So we'll go ahead and pull one of these open. And obviously it comes with all the new cards and such. Put this side over here. Beautiful view of my arm. Okay, so there's this. Oops, sorry about the camera. And I'll go ahead and cut this open. And it looks like we've got all the parts for all three vectors in this one as well. So the base, great. We've got, yep, and that confirms it for me right there. These two pieces here confirm it. Because this is one of the jacks. It's the uh, modulator has two of these arms. And then the conservator has two with these little hands and shield arms. And again, I'll pull up, pull open the rest of the box so you can see, or the bag, so you can see what else is in there. Ooh! And the bag will shatter open and parts will rain down upon us. Alright, so here's the main body. Okay. And then this sits, uh, if this little piece of plastic wasn't here, this sits up on here. This is the back because it's got the little flying base on it. Alright. And then this one's really super easy because all you have to do uh, I think this is the right piece here. Let me see. Uh, let me find out what I'm actually looking for. So these parts here go together. Um, they'll sit together sort of like that. Okay. And you throw a magnet there. Or, I'm sorry, you can actually glue these in. So you glue these into this arm, into this socket right here. You snip that little nub off, and you throw a magnet on that. And then you'll be able to put, uh, this is the one with the shield arm and the, uh, the shield hand. You just put a magnet in the top of this where that hole is. And they'll magnetize right together. You throw a magnet in here. And those will magnetize right together. And same with the other one. And as a working example, let me shove that right out of the way. And here's my working example. You notice it doesn't have a face because I have the face magnetized as well. You can see the little magnet in there. And it's just a magnet down here, a magnet over here, and one in the back as well. And the reason for the one in the back, and sorry this guy uh, didn't, hasn't gotten base coated yet. Um, I'm getting there. The reason for the magnet in the back is because one of the jacks uses this assembly, <clears throat> excuse me, the modulator. And what happens is, this is kind of like a power generator backpack, and this guy magnetizes back here and then each of the guns will magnetize up here and what's supposed to happen is this is supposed to uh, connect the, the tube into the back of the gun there. Okay, so let me go ahead and show you on that side as well. Uh, this isn't a perfect fit. It would drive perfectionists absolutely crazy and then obviously his face would go on there. But um, for me, for the, for the modulation of it, which is funny because it's the modulator, horrible dad puns, uh, it works. And you know, obviously the modulator's face would go in there. Um, some people I noticed don't like the magnetizing on this one as much, and there's things that I can do to prevent what I'm about to show you. Um, but I just, again, I haven't, I haven't looked into it yet. These pieces here, the, the shield hands, are very heavy. I think they're called ab ablator blades? Ablator blades, yep, with the open fist. So, because they're so heavy, when I put them on here, uh, and this one's got a face on it. Let me pull the face off there. Face off, great movie. Uh, when I put these on here, if, you know, obviously I can arrange them in any way I see fit, but if I go too far back, they will start to fall open. See how that one did it by itself? Um, a lot of people don't like that it does that. Uh, I, it's not a huge problem for me mainly because uh, 
Let me see if I can find his face. I think this is his face. Mainly because, you know, when I've got him up here and I bring him closer to guys, I'm like, you know, whoa, come get me. Come get me, bro. And then they shoot at him and he's like, ah, bash! So, I just, again, I'm, I'm a dad. I like to make ridiculous dad jokes. So, uh, like I said, you get two of these in the army box. So you get two of these, one of the cipher inverter monitors, one of the corollaries. Uh, you get a box of the Optifex Directive, which comes with three guys. Um, I said the corollary already. You get the Iron Mother Directrix with her uh, servitors. And then you also get a unit of reductors. I'm sorry, reciprocators. Reductors are the guys in the small base. We'll open this guy up. I've actually never opened a box of these before, so this is brand new for me. I'm probably not gonna know what all of this stuff is in here. So, we got the fancy new card. We'll pull that out of there, put that to the side. Uh, big old thing that I love to put all the bits in. I'll just put the card back into the bottom. And then while I'm building units, I'll just throw the bits right in there and uh, use it as a repository. Comes with five bases. Not to be confused with a suppository. Don't make that mistake. Um, let's cut this son of a bee right open. Du, 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 du. Be safe when you're using sharp objects. All right, throw that off to the side. Peel that guy right open and dump. Okay, so again, I have never opened a box of these before. Uh, I don't really know what any of these bits are. And the fun thing about War Machine is they never really tell you how to put models together. Uh, they they kind of do on the back of the jacks. Like this here will show you the basic assembly of how to put the jack together. Uh, it's something that I like from GW because they're very specific on this is how this goes, this is how this goes, etc, etc. But with um, Privateer, with War Machine, it's a little more... It's, it's, not as, it's not as clear, I guess, is what I'm trying to say. But anywho, uh, it looks like... Let's see, these are... These might be feet? Or some sort of joint for feet? And no, it looks like these are the feet. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six pairs, right? Is that it? We have six pairs of those. Which is odd because, oh, I see. It's got like a little shoulder pad here on these ones here. So we've got five pairs, one, two, three, four, and five. And the shoulder pad's there. We've got five of these bodies here. Looks like the arm socket is here. That might be the head. And just hook to the rest of the body. So we've got one, two, three, four, and the fifth one, there's the fifth one. So we've got five of those. All nice and pretty. And they are the same by the looks of it. They are the same body. Yep, it looks like they're the same. Which makes sense. I, I would think that um, Convergence would find one way to make something perfect and then just replicate it over and over and over. Um, it looks like we've got a nice halberd here. That's upside down. Um, we've got someone wielding almost like a two-handed spear on this one. Um, we've got another one of those here. Another halberd or axe like thing, so this one might be like a spear, and this might be a halberd or an axe or something. So we've got those. We've got our five shields for our shield wall, and if I don't put them together, my OCD will scream at me. <clears throat> see if I can nudge those and put this one back here. So we've got our five beautiful, wonderful shields. Come on, come on. There we go. Ha ha! Look at that, that's gorgeous. And I'll just show you the other side. Looks great, there's a couple of, a couple of flashings here and there and the mold lines on, on Privateer are not the best. So I'll take an exacto to some of these 
Um, these look like, I think these are the heads. Yep, these are definitely the heads. So you can see its eye. And then like some exhaust ports on the back or something. Maybe like a little power, oh there's an exhaust right there. But yeah, uh, all of these heads look exactly the same as well. Oh no, this one's a little different. That might be the unit, the unit champion or the whatever it's called, the war machine. So yeah, all the rest of them look the same. That's cool. They kind of just sit in here perfectly. Uh, come on. I said perfectly, and now you're not doing it. I think he's upside down. I think that's how he's supposed to go. Something like that, maybe. Yep, exactly like that. Just the nubs in the way. But uh, yeah, just sit in there. Put you off to the side. We've got some fists for our shields to go in. <clears throat> and then, oh, it looks like we've got some one with an option. That's probably where the, uh, the hand connects on this guy right here. So that's kind of neat. And then little bits and pieces, pieces for arms, pieces for legs. That kind of looks like a hoof. Um, which I guess one of the best ways to travel would be by hoof. I don't know. I'm not a clock person. So those are the reciprocators. I almost called them reductors again. Um, so the last thing that we get in the box is the mitigator. Mitigator. And I don't actually think I have one of these. I think this gives me one of every one of the light vectors. I'm pretty sure. So I do have uh, one of the other two, the galvanizer and the um, the uh, the other one. Uh, anyways, this is the mitigator. Um, it's the light vector that has the razor bola, um, and these guys are neat because it's just it's a really quick assembly. You kind of put this guy up top here. You take this thing, you put it down here. That's the body done, um, and then you put the legs in the three holes that are down here. Um, the legs are the hardest part, in my opinion, because trying to get them to line up on the base is insane. Anyways, uh, again, the privateer is like flashing. Is let me pull this up here. Privateer's flashing is just like insane sometimes, but it just takes a little work, and you can get it off. Anyways. Um, so that's that, uh, the legs, and I love that they do this with their tiny bits here, so that they don't get lost or, or broken. Love that they put them in a different, uh, in a different package there. So, uh, that is the, <clears throat> excuse me, oh no, there's one thing here, there's one extra thing, and this looks like it's just a little extra piece that they put in here and actually has nothing to do with convergence high command rapid engagement it's a deck building game of strategic conquest for two players so this is kind of cool uh, I'm sure Dan and, and Chuck and I are gonna be battling the heck out of each other with this this is pretty neat I don't know if they sell this or not I'm not really sure it might just be something that comes in the in the army boxes themselves but uh, that's that's awesome. That's a great little gift. I mean, if you're gonna drop the money on the on the army box, you might as well, you know, get a little get a little something extra in there. But that's awesome. So I do have uh, one of the other two, the galvanizer and the um, the uh, the other one. Uh, anyways, this is the mitigator. Um, it's the light vector that has the razor bola. Um, and these guys are neat because it's just, it's a really quick assembly. You kind of put this guy up top here. You take this thing, you put it down here. That's the body done. Um, and then you put the legs in the three holes that are down here. Um, the legs are the hardest part in my opinion because trying to get them to line up on the base is insane. Anyways, uh, again, the privateer is like flashing. Is Let me pull this up here. Privateer's flashing is just like insane sometimes, but just takes a little work and you can get it off. Anyways, 
Um, so that's that, uh, the legs, and I love that they do this with their tiny bits here so that they don't get lost or, or broken. I love that they put them in a different, uh, in a different package there. So, uh, that is the, <clears throat> excuse me, oh no, there's one thing here, there's one extra thing, and this looks like it's just a little extra piece that they put in here, and actually has nothing to do with convergence. High Command Rapid Engagement. It's a deck building game of strategic conquest for two players. So this is kind of cool. Uh, I'm sure Dan and, and Chuck and I are going to be battling the heck out of each other with this. This is pretty neat. I don't know if they sell this or not. I'm not really sure. It might just be something that comes in the in the army boxes themselves. But uh, that's that's awesome. That's a great little gift. I mean, if you're going to drop the money on the on the army box, you might as well, you know, get a little get a little something extra in there. But that's awesome. So there you have it. This has been the unboxing of the Convergence of Cyrus Army Box for 2017. Uh, it comes with a lot of awesome stuff, as you can see here. This is a great way to start a Convergence of Cyrus Army, especially if you magnetize these heavy jacks here, because you'll be able to use all three options whenever you feel like it. Uh, if you guys are interested in seeing a tutorial on how I've done it, just leave a comment in the uh, comment section below saying, hey, Show me how to magnetize these things, and I'll show you how to do it. Uh, this has just been, this is an awesome box. Thank you, Anthony, so much for the, for the birthday present. This is phenomenal. Um, if you guys want, I'll do a review of the card game as well. Uh, again, leave a comment in the comment section below. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, game on.